Hello, this is Ash from Schemantra and today we're going to talk about how to build an itemless schema. So if we go to Google here, if you have a, a page with a list of courses or movies or a recipe, restaurants, it's a good decision to uh, to build an itemless schema. And when this is built, uh, there is a very high chance that it's going to show like this on search engines. So for example, those are the rich snippets for re recipe schema, course and movie schema. This is how they look like. When you build a page dedicated for the items of the things you are selling on the internet or the things you are displaying on the internet and then creating an itemless schema for them in order to show for this. So to explain more about the itemless schema before we get started to the code, let's go to the flowchart that I built. So this is the itemless schema. You start, this is the root. You start with here and then out of the root you add a list item schema to it and out of the list item schema you add the book or anything you have as a list. So as we can see here there is an itemless schema and there is a two books listed on it and th these books are related to the item list with a list item schema in the middle. I know it looks complicated, but that's how it should be built according to Google. We go to Schemantra. So here we are in the dashboard. To start an, a new schema, we click create new. And then we go to the search box and we look for the schema we want to build, which is in our case item list schema. So we go to the item list. We select it. And then we click submit. Now that we click submit, we are in the properties, create properties page. Uh, every schema should have an ID. Uh, the ID can be anything you want. So I'm going to call it uh, items of books. Just for my reference, that could be anything else. And there is nothing really much to add here. We're only going to uh, add the mandatory fields for every schema. Then you can, again, you can add anything you want here. But for me, I'm just going to add the mandatory fields. So we can uh, build the basic skeleton for it. So click save schema. Now this is the item schema we have. And we want to add, according to this picture, we, we created the item list schema. Now we want to add the list item schema to it. So let's go back. So we click on the item list schema and we click plus. And this is the list item schema to it. This is the relationship and this is the, the schema name. So we click on the list item schema. We give it a uh, name, list one, and we give it a position. It's the first item in the schema. And if there is a URL, I'll just say www.example1.com. So this is, if you have a, like a dedicated page for that schema, you can add the URL to it. Save. So we created this. Now we want to add a book to this list item because according to the to the flow chart, uh, this is the list item schema we created. We want to add a book to it. So we go back to uh, Schemantra and we click on the list and we click on the plus and then here we choose a book and I'll call it book one and here you can this is a book schema that you are adding to the item list and you can add anything you want that is related to the book or that is describing the book to it so in our case and just for the sake of this example I am only going to add the name of the book so I'll go down to the N L M N um, just call it uh, the first book. I'll just call it uh, Lord of the Rings. And now I'm going to add the position of the book, which is uh, one. 
first item in the list and I'm going to click save so here we have an item list schema and list item schema connected to it and then there is a book connected to it now again we want to add the second book so we create another list item to it that is connected to the item list schema so we go back here and this is the item list schema we create in the first place this one we click a plus sign and then we click the second list item schema and I'm gonna call it item 2 and the position is 2 and if there is a URL um, example2.com and then save and I click on this item and then I click again plus and then here we can add the second book so this is the second book I'm gonna call it book 2 and we go to the name let's say Lord of the Rings 2 and if there is a and of course we have to add the position this is the second item in the list and if there is a website for it uh, dot lord of the rings 2.com and we click save now we have an item list schema with two books with it so if we want to get the whole code we go back to the root which is this one that we created in the first place and we click preview and then we copy the code and then we go and validate it in the schema validator and we click run test and this is the item list schema that contains two books and as you, as we can see here there is a list item with a position one and that's the book and this is the name of the book and this is the position of the book that's book number one and this is also the second list item list schema and that is book the next book uh, type book and that's the ID that's the name of the book and that's the URL of the second book and that's pretty much how you create the item list schema thank you so much for watching and if you would like to see more of this please subscribe see you next time